Hello and welcome to We Grow Wild, my wild knitting. Today we're gonna talk about summer knitting patterns, so buckle up. My name is Martina, for those who've never been here before. I love to share my knitting journey here on We Grow Wild. I shared also some parts of our life and recently I opened a new channel where uh, me and my partner share bits of our renovation journey because we live in this house that is unfinished and I decided to finally separate the, the content. Here you will find all of the crafty related um, content. So let's just dive into the um, list of summer new. For me they're new. Um, you might have seen some of these patterns. In general, new inspiration, summer knitting patterns. And I selected 20, but earlier today I found also one more. So I guess they're 21. I'll share them from the kind of more staple looking and simple looking designs and kind of easier, I guess, to knit designs to the little bit more complex ones but I decided to still kind of keep it simple. So um, most of the patterns that I'll show are beginner friendly. I have both my phone and a little notebook um, because I don't remember all the names and all the patterns. So it's nice to be able to um, check that out check them out let's start with uh, what I'm wearing it's a um, dress it's a summer dress so I think it's pretty relevant I've knitted this is the camisole number something number four <laughs> by my favorite things knitwear and I decided to knit it quite long as a dress and do create some shaping on the side um, it, it was quite of an easy modification. You just keep on knitting and you do some increases. Um, but many, um, many knitters and podcasters have um, modified this pattern to a dress, from a camisole to a dress. I've knitted it with a 100% uh, cru cruelty-free silk yarn <clears throat> by Knitting for Olive called Pure Silk. I use the color copper and um, I guess it's a nice yarn but for me it's a little bit too thin. This camisole is very see-through um, so I have to wear, I'm wearing now shorts, kind of like biker shorts underneath and this um, funny little mushroom uh, t-shirt. Let's go uh, into the list of knitting patterns. Before I start, I want to say that I created a little Ravelry bundle. I actually created this bundle two something years ago. Yeah, this Ravelry bundle is called Welcoming Warmth and there you'll find all of the patterns I talk about and many more. There are currently 99 patterns in this bundle, so you'll find many summer. Um, summer or spring uh, patterns. So as I said we'll start from simple more staple looking garments or designs to more intricate they're not super intricate but I suppose um, you could say that designs. Okay the first pattern that I want to talk about is the Audrey uh, top by Novita Design Studio and it's a very <laughs> Those who've been here before know that I like ribbed tops and camisoles. One of the, my most knitted uh, pattern is the um, Ripple Bralette by Jessie Made Designs. But this beautiful Audrey top is very similar in the sense, it's not actually super similar, but it has this, um, I think it's a two by two ribbed pattern. It feels really nice and stretchy and I love that it has this kind of horizontal ribbing on the um, bottom hem, if you can call it um, like that. And 
This one is knitted bottom up. I think he has an interesting construction and I'm really looking forward to cast this on as soon as I finish some of my whips. The gauge is 28 stitches and 32 rows. And so the recommended needle size is three millimeters. Um, I guess it uses fingering weight yarns. Um, I really like this top and I'm really looking forward to uh, knit it at some point. I'll, um, throughout the video, I'll suggest also some yarns that you can use for, you know, different type of patterns, not for each design, but in this case, I think that there are many options. You can use different silk yarns. I made a series on cruelty-free silk yarns. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description box. Um, there are so many different options with, when it comes to cruelty-free silk yarns. I'm currently knitting with this yarn. It's called Madrogoa by Rosarios Quattros. It's a Portuguese brand and this yarn is 100% silk, 50 grams and 200 meters ish. And um, this is the color 27, I think. Yes. And it's a beautiful kind of light olive color. And I'm currently knitting a top with it. This is a very um, kind of good... I would say it's almost better than knitting for olive pure silk and it's yeah it's basically the same um, way and the same gauge and I recommend it for patterns like the one I'm wearing or the Audrey the Audrey top so yarns like this I think are very good um, and then there is thin linen Thin Linen by Sun Scarn, and there are many other drops um, designs, uh, yarns that you can check. They are uh, very good for summer patterns, but I really like silk yarns um, because they're very breathable, but they also are um, kind of auto cleansing ish, like <laughs> they have similar properties as uh, wool. So if you sweat, um, it kind of absorbs the, the sweat without, um, you know, trapping the, the, the smells. <laughs> That's what I discovered. Next top is the kawaii top or crop top by Sachiko, Sakiko. Don't know how to pronounce this designer name I apologize and I think that this is a very nice and um, feminine design even though I think that the concept of feminine and masculine is a very personal and subjective um, idea uh, but I really like this pattern I think it's really nice and the sizes available go from 71 centimeters bust to a 158 centimeters. I really like that this is knitted with five millimeter needles or it has 70 stitch, 17 stitches and 26 rows. So it's kind of a quick project. Uh, and by the way, summer tops are my favorite um, knitting projects to work on. And this is definitely probably going to be one of them because the the gauge uh, so you use a DK way yarn I'm currently using different DK way yarns I can show you a few um, I'm disorganized just so you know very disorganized this is the Cozy Posy Yarn Co. And this is the linen Lush Lino DK base. And it's 65% silk and 35% linen. And it's a DK way yarn. It's 115 grams, so it's pretty generous skein and 245 yards. I've really recommend it for projects like this ones or other projects. I'll show you in the next video um, a project that I finished with this beautiful yarn. And in the next video, 
I share um, all of my knitted garment tops, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I like this one. Um, I think it's probably one of my favorite. Um, I've knitted only one garment with it, but I loved the process of knitting it. And Antonella is a wonderful Hindi dyer and I really like her and she gifted me this yarn. So yeah, that's a, an example of a DK Way yarn that I really love for summer garments. I also really like this yarn, 50 grams and 120 meters, and it's 57% cotton, 30% viscose, and 13% linen. So it's kind of like linen, but sunless yarn, and um, this is the Linen Dale by King Cole, and it's actually an affordable brand. Um, and I like this, it's similar to also Drops Bell. Um, by Drops Designs and this was gifted to me by my friend Ali and I'm kind of saving it for a project, a big project like a cardigan. There are many other DK Way yarns I love. Um, Boo Moulin by Drops. Um, they're very... Um, it's it's one, 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 one other of my favorite um, summer yarns so highly recommended. Okay, next pattern. This is a very simple, staple looking pattern with a little detail on the bottom hem. This is the Costa Tank by Bluebird Pine Shop. And I really like this one because it's very simple. It's very like, I don't know, very simple and staple looking but it has this kind of yarn overs and pico edges towards the bottom hem of the the top and um i think it's super beautiful and we talked we just talked about drops bell or you know a dk way yarn this is again knitted with a dk way yarn um 23 stitches and 29 rows simple stockinette stitch with a little little twist. Okay, on to the next one. The next two, three patterns, I'll combine them in one because they, for me, they're very similar in the look and the design. So I'll, they're, they're just gonna be like... So the first one is the Vacation Vest by Park Williams. Super simple. I love this kind of like vest looking um, designs. And this is knitted top down uh, with a, a gauge of 18 stitches and f use the recommended needles are 4.5 and 5 millimeters. So I think it's going to be a quick uh, knit, um, a very quick knit and you have a very, you know, very nice um, vest to wear without you know other garments or on top of other garments you can wear it you can knit it with summer yarns but you could also knit it with you know more um, animal based fibers um, so woolly fibers maybe a um, silk and um, silk and alpaca blend I would recommend for this vest and then another similar one is the top sole by Moki Knits and this is very similar as well but it's knitted with a fingering weight yarn in fact the gauge is 26 stitches instead of the previous um, pattern that I mentioned which is 18 stitches and the recommended needle size is 3.5 millimeters. So I think it's a really um, nice alternative. I really like it and I think it's a um, fairly new designer, if I'm not mistaken. Another pattern in this category of similar looking vest looking um, patterns is the Florentina top by, by Vitre Design and um, this one is very similar I think to the previous uh, two patterns that I mentioned um, but it has more you know eye cord bow tied cords in the front and this one is knitted uh, with a DK way yarn 20 stitches and 28 rows 
three and four millimeter needles. So again, a, another fast, relatively fast knit in my opinion. Another top that I want to mention that I really like and is super, super basic, um, but I think a great staple in everyone's wardrobe is the Top Cosima by Marisa Neldeke. And it has this little detail um, at the top of the shoulders where you basically tie up the, um, the eye cord and um, I think it's really cute. And this is um, knitted um, with a DK way yarn. So 21 stitches, 28 rows, four millimeters needles suggested. And again, this really cute. Okay, next, beautiful, simple looking staple looking t-shirt this time is the sea salt tea by atelier castine and i really love this one i love that it's a very simple it has a saddle shoulder construction but i'm not sure um, and this is knitted um, at the gauge of 25 stitches and 34 rows and it's pure stock in it and it has this nice little detail of um, kind of a folded stock in it um, edges um, around the neckline and the armholes and the bottom hem. I really love the way this t-shirt looks and it seems quite simple and easy but with an interesting uh, shoulder construction. Is knitted in the round top down so you can you know regulate the length and I love that you have the option to knit the the little details around the neckline and the armholes um, with a different color to kind of spice up the look of the project so that's another pattern that I really like and then let's stay into the realm of t-shirts this one I have to thank um, my wonderful wild ally friend Emma um, she uh, mentioned this top that I've seen a year or so ago and I kind of forgot about it but then she was knitting it and I was like that's beautiful and she's doing kind of like a chilled knit along with her colleagues and um, this is the Umbria summer top and the Umbria summer top is actually a very beautiful broken ribbed raglan t-shirt and I really like it and Emma gifted me the pattern and here it is, I'm knitting it, so happy <laughs> about it. The pattern recommends fingering weight yarn, 24 stitches and 34 rows, um, 3.5 and 3 millimeter needles. I'm using 3.25 millimeters for the body and it's a very simple top-down raglan broken rib pattern um, and I really like it and I'm using a yarn that I had in my stash so this is kind of part of a knit-along, a year-long knit-along that I'm co-hosting with my friend Aline Swerpans, the Adventures in Stash and you can just use any yarns you have in your stash and make anything um, as long as you tag us on Instagram so we can select some winners at the end of the year. And I'm using Drops Loves You in this kind of rust color and I actually noticed that it's very similar. It's a bit brighter um, and more vibrant than uh, the uh, Knitting for Olive copper color, pure silk copper color. Okay, another uh, like t-shirt, uh, it has some little details, but I think it's still like staple looking design, uh, is the Verona blouse. Now, I really love the way this pattern looks. It's so beautiful and so elegant. And this is knitted with a DK way yarn, 21 stitches and 27 rows, four millimeters, the main uh, needle size and it's really nice it's really beautiful it's knitted bottom up and um, I love the little you know puffy sleeves details love this one 
Okay, then I want to mention the Magda skirt by Hip Knit Shop. Um, it's not a top, but is a um, it's a skirt. So if you want to have a full knitted eye, uh, outfit, you can just knit a top and then add the skirt. And I think you can um, knit it at any length you want. And this is knitted with a DK Way yarn, it's 20 stitches. And then there's going to be an upcoming um, pattern that is going to be released. And it's this skirt that I've been knitting, test knitting actually, is the uh, Marie skirt by Anna Anderson. And you can knit it at any um, length. And there are beautiful increases on the side to shape it um, on your curves and is a ribbed pattern, a broken ribbed, sorry, pattern. Super easy, super simple. I love that it has a, an elastic band inside the waist band, so it kind of uh, fits and it doesn't fall. So let's start with, um, I would say, one of the most intricate designs that I chose in this list. And this is the uh, Pattern Forage by Lanaya Elizabeth. And I love this one so much. It has this beautiful floral motif running in the center of the front of the camisole. And I believe it's knitted with a kind of fingering way yarn. Yes, it is. Um, but um, it recommends you to use four millimeter needles but as uh, the gauge is fairly um, open for a fingering way yarn, so 20 stitches and 28 rows, and the recommended needle size is four millimeters. This pattern is not knitted in the round, it's knitted in pieces that you then seam together. Uh, I've knitted a similar uh, pattern where you knit pieces and then seam them together and when it comes to uh, summer tops I think it's not so bad <laughs> I wouldn't um, I wouldn't make a sweater in pieces and then seam them together but this one I mean they're they're just two panels and you just need to seam two panels together I think is still okay. I would use a 100% linen yarn with this um, with this design. I really like it, I think it's, um, it's very beautiful. Okay, another pattern that I decided to add to this list is the Violet by Jessica McDonald. One of you was knitting it during a live um, knit and chat that I do every Sunday at 9 a.m. CEST. One of you was knitting it and um, I really like this one. It's kind of sta staple looking but it has this nice little lace motif on the bottom um of the of the of the t-shirt and she said that it has a nice um shoulder construction and i like that <clears throat> it has um i really like um drop shoulders patterns i think they um fit the best at least on my specific body and this is knitted with a fingering way yarn 26 stitches and 37 rows in stock in it and I think I believe is knitted uh, top down yes I really like this one I think is a very beautiful design and if you want you could skip the uh, lace motif and just knit it in like stock in it and then it will look very staple and very simple okay then we have the Fleur Camisole or Fleur Cami by Brianna Mazen. This one is really beautiful. I At some point I want to knit it. It looks like it's knitted with a fingering way yarn. Yes, and 30 stitches. <laughs> so 30 stitches, so 2.5 millimeter needles. It's going to be a little bit of a commitment, but it's a camisole, it's not a sweater. So it will still be faster than a sweater, a full sweater. Um, and I really like this one because it has this kind of little um, lace motif throughout the camisole, 
but I think it's quite easy to remember. You, it looks like they're just yarn overs and knit two togethers or something like that. So really like this one and um, it's also size inclusive and it's knitted bottom up. So quite easy. You just like knit in the round and you learn the pattern, repeat until you have to separate for um, the front um, parts. Okay, next pattern that I really like and one of you kindly uh, gifted to me um, on Ravelry is the Beatrix Demi Blouse by Fox and Folk. I love this designer. I think she's absolutely talented and her, all of her designs are very unique. I really like this uh, top because it combines, um, you know, knitted stitches, yarn overs, this beautiful kind of flower uh, panel on the front, running on the front of the t-shirt, but it also has this crocheted uh, little details around the neckline and on the shoulders. If I'll knit this in the future, I think I'll uh, just skip the drawstring hem but I love the rest of the design. Another top that I really like and this looks intricate but is actually just super simple. It's like a combination of knit and pearls and this is the Margot top by Gregoria Fibers. It's knitted bottom up, 21 stitches and 34 rows, recommended needle size 3 millimeters. I love this one. Okay, another pattern that I really, really like is the Sunny Top by Trust the Mojo. I think this one is super, super cute and super beautiful. And again, is knitted with a worsted weight yarn. So it's 16 stitches and 20 uh, rows. And the recommended needles is five millimeters. So it's a quick top. I think this is going to be one of my next, next cast-ons uh, because it has this beautiful detail running on the center of um, the front um, but the rest is stuck in it so you just learn that motif, a repeat and then you just, you're just you good to go. And yeah, I really like this um, kind of botanical uh, inspired motif and it looks like... Um, the recommended, the suggested yarn is we are knitters, knitters cotton, but there are so many, you know, worsted way yarns that you can find um, to knit tops like this. Okay, last but not least is the Provence top, Provence top by Ekaterina Vorobeva. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the, her name correctly, I apologize. Um, this is an absolutely gorgeous pattern, in my opinion. It looks so elegant and so cottage core, but also very romantic. And I love, um, I love the little lace motif. Really love it. This is knitted bottom up, and it has this nice um, lace. Um, detail around the top part and on the sleeves. Let me see, yeah, it's knitted with a worsted way yarn, so 18 stitches and 25 rows, 4 millimeters and 3 millimeters are the needle, the recommended needle sizes. Stunning and she's the same designer as the Verona blouse. I really want to knit it at some point. Okay, I think I'm just going to end the video here. There are so many other patterns that are absolutely stunning and that I would like to talk about but I think um, for now I like to share these ones and if you want to check more patterns you can go to my Ravelry bundle. There are over 99 patterns and I'm gonna keep on adding. It's linked in the description box so go and check that out. And in my next video, I'm going to share all of my summer garments. <laughs> I've done a video um, probably two years ago with all of my summer garments, but um, I've knitted many more. <laughs> so I'll share uh, the ones that I have in my wardrobe and talk about what I um, discover I like more and what I don't when it comes to summer patterns. So I really hope you're gonna check it out. And um, if you're interested in 
off-grid homesteading, home renovation, or like just um, peaceful um, sceneries, um, please go and check out our second channel. We just opened it, but there is one video and there, is, um, there are more videos coming every week almost. So thank you for supporting us there too. And don't forget that every Saturday at 9 a.m. CEST, I go live here on YouTube and we just chat for 40 plus minutes. Uh, it's a nice way for me to interact with you and not just talk, talk by myself. I mean, I talk by myself, but at least I can reply to some comments and things. It's nice. It's a nice um, time. And um, you can watch all the replays on my live section on the YouTube, um, on my YouTube page. Okay, I think I've done enough admin now and uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.